Drop the gun! Show me your hands! My mom loves horror movies, and My Bloody Valentine was a favorite of hers. Every year around Valentine's Day, she would pull it out and we'd watch it. I never liked horror movies. Still don't. But that one, I didn't dislike as much as most. So in honor of Valentine's Day, I thought I'd do a video on homicides occurring on February 14th. Mass shootings on Valentine's Day are not common. In the last five years, there have been two. The most recent was in 2020 in Chicago and occurred at a Valentine's Day party in which four of the six victims were teenagers. The next mass shooting on February 14th was the Parkland school shooting in Florida. 17 were killed and 17 injured. Kids and teachers from the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. When 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz went on a rampage. I don't remember, but I don't think that had anything to do with Valentine's Day other than that was just the day he chose. In 2022, the U.S. averaged 1.8 murder-suicides per day, and on Valentine's Day last year, there were two. 2021 had one, 2020 had two, and 2019 had four. So those types of incidents stay relatively close to the daily averages. And I tried to find Valentine's Day homicides, and I was actually surprised to see that it isn't a big homicide day. I couldn't find an overall total for last year to see if it was higher or not. But cities like Baltimore and Chicago that have homicides nearly every day didn't have a murder at all last year on Valentine's Day. A famous Valentine's Day homicide was when that Oster Pistorius, the guy they called Blade Runner, thought he had an intruder in his home and ended up killing his girlfriend, shooting her through the bathroom door. That was Valentine's Day 2013. So unlike other holidays like Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, and the 4th of July, of which last year the 4th of July had 10 mass shootings, Valentine's Day, thankfully, is not or doesn't appear to be an overly violent day. So for one day, let's leave the homicides for the movies and enjoy the day with the ones you love. And we'll get back to talking about the bad guys doing bad things tomorrow.